Today we're using sardines and sprats, which we purchased a 20 litre container for, for uh, two pounds from Sainsbury's at the end of the at the end of the day. Um, you can also ask your local fish merchant if they can save the sprats, mackerel and other oily fish and um, sardines. Um, very good supplement for the dogs, very high in protein. What we've got is a 20 litre container and we'll be adding water to this and cider apple vinegar and then we'll um, break the, the fish down using a blender so there are no bones left whatsoever and then we'll be adding plaster and rice to the dish and this will be used to supplement a raw uh, meat diet for our dogs. Bring the fish to the boil we need to add some cider apple vinegar this helps to dissolve the bones I make the cider vinegar myself that's an essential part of the ingredients as you can see the fish is already starting to break down it's on the low gas now simmering and we're waiting until all of the little bones in the fish have dissolved unlike the beef broth that we did in the other video this uh, fish fish soup stroke broth the uh, the bones are very small so we can uh, just use the blender in the same way Very careful with electrics as well, we don't want to drop this into the water. Just do a double check now, see if we've managed to get all of the fish. Yep, totally blended. Having blended the fish, we're now bringing it back up to the boil and adding in a kilo of rice. Cheap rice, this cost I think it's 48 pence from Aldi. And Two packets of pasta, this is a panini, or panini, the fluted pasta, and uh, this was 20, 28 pence a bag. So we have two bags, two bags of this. Now you'll need to keep stirring this because the rice and the pasta tend to stick to the bottom of the pan, so keep stirring and keep coming back to it and stirring and make sure you scrape off all the rice that's sticking to the bottom now what will happen now is the rice and the pasta will swell up and absorb all of the fish oils and the fish protein um, we'll see how we go on once cooked the consistency should be like a thick porridge and this will set when, uh, when it's allowed to go cold and you can divide it up and freeze it in portions in plastic bags in the freezer so the dogs are waiting for their fish surprise have a look inside it's set nicely with the rice and the, and the pasta so we'll give them one scoop each now we were buying tins of sardines and they were 39 pence each and we were giving them we were giving them two tins a day sometimes we'd miss a day 
they're quite expensive and this is a equally as nutritious doesn't contain any cooked oils as in with the sardines and the oil and there's no tomato juice so we'll see if they like it this is their breakfast so we're supplementing a raw diet with fish so it's an excellent source of protein and it's full of omega oils so we've got four clean dishes now so there's no objections to this and I've made 20 litres of this meal and it's cost me three pounds so we've bagged 17, 17 feeds for four dogs so this is a supplement that they have in the morning and um, you know, that's, and they've already had one feed so that's 18 so 18 feeds for three pound for four dogs now if you're like me and you've got a large dish or a large pan and you can't put it in the dishwasher we have our own special dishwasher it's all the spud <laughs> Mm-hmm.